Flight line makes it two, now three as they go into the far turn. Flavian Pratt and Flight line are an embarrassing lead. It must be 15 lengths. Take a good look at this, because you're not going to see this too often. Maybe never again. Flight line, 20 lengths clear. Flavian Pratt takes a hold and canters in in the TVG Pacific Classic. Here is Epicenter now to take over the lead. Cyberdive is down at the rail. They pass the eighth pole. It is Epicenter in front, and he is at the top of the three-year-old class. Epicenter won the Jim Dandy, and he backs it up with a very top-notch finish in the run, Happy Travers. And they're off, and life is good. Breaks in stride from the outside and is set right out for the early lead. It is Happy Saber trying to get to Life is Good. Life is Good now moves down to the inside. Happy Saber had a veer there. And then it is Hot Rod Charlie, and they're coming for the finish. It is Life is Good still in front. Life is Good is the winner. Mishriff comes down the outside, loves only you, trying to push its way into the clear. Mogul head of the rest. Chronogenesis is full bore. Mishriff out of the middle, went to the lead. Chronogenesis loves only you are digging in. Mishriff the leader. Chronogenesis loves only you over on the inside. Mishriff its nose in front of the Shima Classic. A Shima Classic comes up and it's Mishriff. It is Nest who has asked for more, and she is responding here. Nest has a four-length lead. Secret Oath in second. Here is Nest, and she is pouring it on here in the stretch. She is at the top of her class. Nest wins the Alabama by five lengths. Malathat takes the lead, has it by two, coming to the eighth pole. Army White second, Latruska drops back in third, played hard as fourth. Malathat, final furlong of the Judmont Spinster, has the advantage out to nearly five lengths, 16th to go, no catching. Malathat winning the Judmont Spinster for John Velasquez. Ken Ross now takes it up in the center group. Ken Ross sent ahead, two lengths to creative force and run to freedom. Far side tenebrism and Rohar finishing well, but Ken Ross in the form of his life gonna follow up his foray win and Ken Ross wins easily. Down the outside, here comes Modern Games absolutely punishing them. Modern Games race past them in a blink and Modern Games out in front, two lengths to finest sound, he's run to second and this three-year-old is a star in the Rico Wood by mile, Modern Games and this time you can cash your ticket, Modern Games by five lengths. It is Jackie's Warrior who has the lead with an eighth of a mile to the finish. Jackie's Warrior in front by four lengths, knee deep in snow has moved into second and Jackie's Warrior remains undefeated here at Saratoga and he wins an unprecedented grade one stakes at the Spa for the third straight season. She got away well on Nashua. Holly Doyle's really done that nicely. On the near side, it's Nashua, but La Parisienne is bearing down. Nashua has the lead. Here's La Parisienne on the outside. Nashua's in front. La Parisienne is coming to try and grab her. Nashua and La Parisienne. Nashua's held on to win it. That was a good beginning for Jack Christopher. It is Jack Christopher who now gets away from the field. It is Jack Christopher in front. Gunite moves into second. Running son of a gun down at the rail in third. It is Jack Christopher back to sprinting today. Back to winning today. The grade one H. Allen Jerkins Memorial. They're off in the Breeders' Cup turf sprint. Golden Powell broke like a rocket. They're into the stretch, and they got to get Golden Powell. Golden Powell now set down by Arado Ortiz. Lieutenant Dan trying to make a race of it in second. Emirati Anis to the inside, but it is Golden Powell. Golden Powell, wire to wire. It's King Hermes who leads the way for Ryoshi Sakai, now being taken on on the near side by Highfield Princess, and its naval crown has now come through, picked it up, but Highfield Princess accelerates again, finishing like a storm over on the far side is Minzal, but it's Highfield Princess from Minzal, Highfield Princess.